it just it would get there. I'd get no prompt. But where I would get shot in the fucking face, I'd go, oh, oh, that was gruesome. They spent way too much time animating that. Yeah, that's a that's weird. It's weird. That... It would have been stronger if it had cut to black and yeah. there had been a gunshot. Yeah, cut to black at the same time that you hear the yeah. gunshot, and then just knowing that, like uh-huh. that, just that's so much more powerful. I, you know. Uh, I struggle to even say it's more powerful than um, than showing you the get shot in the face. Yeah. I feel like it's more powerful, but apparently seeing uh, a 3D model of a character get shot in the face is enough to keep me from playing the game. You yeah, know what I mean? Exactly. So uh-huh. maybe it's too powerful. <laughs> and like, it, it's a played out joke by now, but it does feel like those death animations were directed by someone who's into that sort of thing. Uh, like, I, I'm not even... Oh, I'll get her. <laughs> like, I'm not even saying that as a joke at this point. After yeah. playing it, like, this really does feel like this person has a thing for snuff porn. So is it worse than, um, say, the deaths in Until Dawn? Those are... It is. Those are bad, but they tend to be... There's a lack of realism to them. Because it's a the most horror. Part. Yeah, it's horror. Yeah. It's either really exaggerated, or it's over pretty quick. You know, it, it's not in Rise of the not Rise of the, just Tomb Raider. They're fairly realistic. Uh, that's the thing. It's like, oh, Laura got impaled, and now she's gonna gurgle and twitch for a moment, and now, okay, now she's dead. Uh huh. Where'd she get a band aid? <laughs> Riggs, you're so pathetic. She just went somewhere and stole a band aid <laughs> from some kid that actually needed it. Uh huh. Scrape my knee, mommy. Oh, and she's going to put it on, and then Bayonetta yeah. just vaults over her and snatches the band aid. And... <laughs> my father. As a kid, I would try to get away with no good, but then I'd see mom, and then I wouldn't see mom, but my ass would hurt. And I realized she vaulted in a witch time and just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> I guess you should have done the dishes then, huh? <laughs> Bad things seem to happen when you don't. Mom, please don't jump. No, mom, please don't. Ow, ow. <laughs> ow. And then she'd have a sucker. I'm afraid of suckers now. <laughs> But then they have this really odd complex where when women have them in their mouths, it's attractive, but then it makes me feel guilty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy just ruined a lot of things for me. <laughs> and it better be 70% leg or else I'm not turned on at all. You're standing in it. Welcome to Vigrid. 500 years later. 500 years later. Grado. Stay down from there. <laughs> Great oak. No, no. Oh, no, he's gonna hit buttons. <laughs> Kitty on a keyboard. <laughs> no, he's near a keyboard. Not quite uh, on it yet. Oh, good. <laughs> there we go. Uh, cats. He's, he's good about not climbing on keyboards, but I don't want to take the chance. Because he did climb on your laptop, yeah. that one. And hit the exact button he needed to hit the stop the recording. <laughs> it, it, it makes me think of Freakazoid. Like that, you remember Freakazoid? I remember it, I don't remember which part you're talking about. How he became Freakazoid, he was just a nerdy dude on a computer, then his cat came up and like stepped on oh, the yeah. right keys uh-huh. that just did the right thing that sucked him into the internet uh-huh. or something. Freaks, go away, get out of here, go down. Get. Since the balance between light and dark had been lost. Oh, so they're just explaining Bayonetta's origin right now. There's the, the, the Lumen Sages who are light, and the, 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 her, the witches who are dark, and her dad is a Lumen Sage, and her mom's a witch. Mm. And so, like, you half-breeds, you get to grow up in a cage. It's like a analog for society or something. Yeah, man. So deep. However... <laughs> As he should be. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you at least got to see him, well, you got to see him torn apart, but you didn't know why. No, he didn't get mocked for believing it. He got mocked for going around and telling everyone yeah. about it like an idiot. It's it, it, it's like, okay, you might believe in Bigfoot. That's one thing. It's when you show up on TV on, like, a night vision camera going, there's a squatch around. And I'm going to do my squatch call. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I still can't get over the father. Recently tried to sell an enormous gemstone on the black market. It's not a good father. Like they just had a kid in the, the office one day and they're like, "Hey, we need you to deal father." No, no, like your dad just got torn apart by angels. Look at the dumb tail on that plane. What the fuck? 
Come on, kid, give me some more emotion. Imagine your dad just died. <laughs> and the kid just starts crying. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then the mom's like, just takes the kid away and gets pissed at the director. <laughs> this part's cute. Aw. <laughs> Aw, time paradoxes. She only learned how to do that from watching her future self do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Predestination. <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> speaking of time travel, I was thinking about our Doctor Who script we wrote yeah. earlier today. Yeah. And uh, I was thinking about the, uh, the 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 second TARDIS they used to go back and throw old TARDIS. <laughs> and then send their... Yes, this. I love it. Their, they send their past selves back in time with the old TARDIS. <laughs> I realized that TARDIS is like infinity years old. Because it, it doesn't start anywhere. It just keeps yeah. going back in time over and over and over to crush Why Dr. Parakeet. <laughs> because, I'm sorry, Brian, but <laughs> Dr. Parakeet slowed things down so much that I'm like, he has to die. <laughs> the best thing about writing that was, like, when one of us would just go, nope, to one of our ideas and kill it. Yeah. Uh. It was great putting it on the uh, Doctor Who subreddit, um, the, uh, the link to the Google Doc, yeah. and then seeing people ha like on the Google Doc reading it, knowing <laughs> that some Doctor Who fans that are just sitting around on the subreddit <laughs> waiting for some sweet new Doctor Who news uh, saw it, and they're like, ooh, I've been waiting all day here for this, and then went and read it, and they're just like, mm, no, this is Do not funny. Doctor Who does not... First of all, his name is The Doctor. Second of all, he doesn't travel through time to fuck Cleopatra. <laughs> he sure did. <laughs> have sex with the TARDIS. And drink vodka. vodka. <laughs> no, no, Sounds... it's Bond is always drinking vodka. Oh, yeah, that's because right. Because you can't believe she's stuck with this fucker. He, he, he uh, made a sonic screwdriver drink, though, right? He just, it was one part of it was, it was uh, existential oh. horror or something. Yeah, it, it's one part vodka, one part existential horror. <laughs> just a nice long <laughs> scream at the glass. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he pours in the vodka, stirs it, stares at it. Mmm, <laughs> 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 a sonic screwdriver. And then I... It's great when you only learn about something through, like, osmosis. Like, yeah. I don't know anything about Doctor Who, and I, it's the same with uh, Harry Potter. Like, I have uh -huh. no, I know, I've never read or watched any, so I just don't know. Yeah. So I only know <laughs> what I've heard, so it's great to, like, piece it together in your mind that I, way. I couldn't believe when I saw... Oh, goddamn. I couldn't believe when I saw the, uh... That... That, um... Poster of, uh... A day like... I sent to you. That actually and, uh, had something Yeah, that it actually yeah. has a gross squid thing inside. <laughs> After... What the hell? Oh, I think I'm being attacked by Jean. Jean. Uh, that was my favorite part of that whole... I think that was my favorite part of the whole script, is when they, uh... <laughs> they see the gross squid thing inside, and everyone just starts vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> Someone joins late, and sees it, starts vomiting, like, Here I go! And starts vomiting, too. <laughs> or... Or when the, the guy from the... No, my favorite part was when the guy from the junkyard um, who oh. saved the one day and like, shoots himself in half. I and forgot somehow, about that guy! Yeah, he like, somehow reloads the Uzi and just keeps shooting himself in half. <laughs> <laughs> the guy that ha got like fired from like Chuck E. Cheese, basically. Yeah. <laughs> that guy, that was awesome. Oh, God. I gotta read that script again. You I know forgot what? about all that shit. You know shit. what? Next time we record... I'll have it up on my phone, and then I'll just read it off while you're playing the game. Yeah. We should or do like a table read or We should sorts. do a table read at some point, yeah. <laughs> Gaseous gay, the gay boxer that farts That's a lot. lot. <laughs> <laughs> Lady dick bear. Who <laughs> <laughs> trips over her own dick and dies. <laughs> and then, and then Gaseous... And the gaseous gay walks up to her all slow, like he's gonna, he's gonna, you know, pay tribute to this falling comrade. And then he just turns around, flips her the double bird, and farts on a corpse. Uh, I just... <laughs> I just wanted so... One day I just had, like, 
the name Gaseous Gay yeah. pop into my head. I'm like, I really got to use this somewhere. I remember you yeah. sent me a text yeah. like, I want to write something. I don't know what. To use a character named Gaseous Gay, the gay boxer who farts a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> yeah, I got to read that again sometime. Oh, man. The, That's good stuff. The, the link to the dock seems to be broken now. Oh. But I, I saved it to a PDF. Oh, good. Yeah. Whew. Yeah, I hope someone besides us read it through all the way. <laughs> and then I, I need to get back to work on my Doctor Who fan fiction love from the time of Velociraptors, <laughs> which continues the story of those characters. <laughs> and adds a new one who's a, a talking <laughs> Velociraptor who, doctor, who went back in time... Uh, performed experimental surgery on to give him human sapience <laughs> and human genitalia <laughs> for no reason. I like, uh... <laughs> As modest, Doctor Who puts that raptor in a battle with Khan for his own amusement <laughs> and is watching them from behind uh, like a plate glass window completely naked on a Shea lounge covering <laughs> his junk in modesty grapes. <laughs> <laughs> he eats one bunch, then grabs another, he yells Space Jam, and throws him at his <laughs> junk, but misses. I like, uh, I like when, uh, what's her name? What's the girl's name? Pond? Pond, yeah. Dumb name. I like when her and, the, and Doctor Who go back into, like, you know, when do they even go back? Like the 50s? Or what was it? Like Gash like Gaius? Yeah. I was think it? it's like 60s, 70s? I though? think it's implied to be the 60s or 70s. Yeah, and because I did a tiny bit of research uh, <laughs> to find out when uh, Muhammad Ali was actually like a boxer. Mm -hmm. That was all the research I bothered with. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure I got that right. Uh, and then the fire chieftain shows up. Yeah. Because they're like. And, or th anyway, they're like running away in, in uh, peril, right? Yeah. But fucking Doctor Who has the time to like mug the camera and like <laughs> look at the boobs and butt on pawn and be like oh yeah like <laughs> let the audience know that he's checking it out <laughs> like he runs ahead and then runs backwards uh. <laughs> or something <laughs> like he's running backwards looking at butts <laughs> yeah that's, the, that's good stuff uh. if that was what doctor who is about i'd watch it all the time oh i'd watch it every week or whenever it comes on why so glum? Oh, it was just about a time traveling Something shithead. Something. Yeah. Who just wants Only to go bone Cleopatra. Yeah. And then we couldn't think of how to end it. So I'm like, no fuck it. And I just gave it the Super Mario Brother movie ending. <laughs> <laughs> and Daisy herself shows up. <laughs> There's Daisy! Oh, <laughs> 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 well, what was that? I was thinking we should do that again, but with something else. Yeah. I'm trying to remember what it was. It's gotta be, it's gotta be in the same vein of like. Yeah. Cult following, uh -huh. but I had you know something. nothing about. It was it was something that I knew a little bit about. But, oh, uh oh, she can do gun magic. Now. <laughs> no, I, I guess things are popping off. We can't keep talking about Doctor Who. So is a uh, Jean, or is that her? What her name is? Yeah. Uh, is she like a the light side or something? Yeah, she's a, a pure um, Umbrian witch. Okay. Oh, she's pure. Dark though. Yeah. Okay. That's... Nice. <laughs> Tell me where Wait, who's is. flying this thing? <laughs> My. Just the bear. <laughs> oh, circus bear. <laughs> yeah. Like a tiny, tiny hat. hat. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to fly this thing. <laughs> <laughs> who's flying this thing? <laughs> and Fatty got laid. There's no fly here. As anything, <laughs> I, I left that part out of the version of that I put on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. But on the, the actual YouTube one, it, it dips all the way to dark. Yeah. For a second, then just shoots back. But in fact, he got laid! When does that episode go up? Today. Nice. I yeah. gotta watch that. might mean something to you. Is that petrified poop? I think so. I've never a petrified poop? Worthless junk. Yeah. I throw away some petrified poop, too. <laughs> <laughs> so then why is she working with the angels i'm not sure i guess if i was paying attention i might have a better no, idea no i don't think so i don't think they've explained that yeah
Just rubber dances this angel to death. Yeah. Fuck. Take, yeah just beat it up in that pantsuit. <laughs> Or whatever that kind of a whatever that is. is. Whatever it is. Sending the buttons from the top left collar all the way down to the bottom right hip. <laughs> force push this stuff? Yeah. What did she just do? She just made an icicle somehow with the rain that she collected well that's, in which time. That's awesome. It is awesome. Fill your eyes with hatred. Accept your violent fate. Accept it and earn the left eye. Prove you Is that the dark eye? I think so, yeah. Just, just pistol with John. <laughs> so in uh, Bayo 2, is she like, I don't know, is, is there any of the light side of her come out or something? Not or, really. No, it's a little, well, kind of. <laughs> no, actually, her suit buttons all the way down to the bottom right thigh. I have no idea how you actually put that thing on. And that's... Not uh, okay, so that's not bare leg either. That's like more pant underneath. Yeah, the red. It's a cool outfit. I bet there's some sweet cosplay. Mm -hmm. Apparently, um, at Pax one. Oh, sweet. Fight shot. Real. Apparently, at Pax one year, um, I think it was at Pax. They had a woman come out on some stage, some famous cosplayer wearing like a realistic bayonetta costume, and she could barely move. <laughs> it was just so tight. Yeah, this is a sweet battle <laughs> off of a uh, big old airplane. Yeah, that's a nice juggle he had going on. Oh yeah, that was all I was gonna say. I love that. Is uh, Jean using any weapons, or is she just punching um, guns and she's punch? just using guns too. She's tricky because. You won't always activate bullet time, not bullet time, which time, uh, with your first dodge. Sometimes you have to dodge a second time in order to do it. <laughs> Summon motorcycle. Yeah, why not? What? I guess that's her weapon. <laughs> She's just, like, Wario. <laughs> gonna throw it at you and fart. <laughs> oh man. I wanna, I wanna fight Wario in a character action. <laughs> I want a Wario character action game. I think I want a Mario character action game. And I yeah. want to fight Wario in it. As, like, the, the rival character. Yeah. Not Luigi. Nah. I do want Luigi to be there, but I want Wario to be the... <laughs> I want Wario to be the rival. That'd be cool. Him in Waluigi. Because <laughs> Wario's got all the cool, like, stuff. Yeah. Like, Mario works all hard, I guess, but... Wario is all like a like a venture capitalist of uh, sorts. Yeah. Owns like boats and cars and <laughs> cabins and motorcycles. Yeah. He he doesn't go on adventures to save the Mushroom Kingdom. He just he just goes on adventures to get paid. He's not even necessarily bad because he does yeah. good things. But eventually, as long as money's involved, <laughs> he does it. And you could say Mario is only doing something because he gets a reward at the end in the form of cake. <laughs> Air quotes. Nice. Counter. Oh. oh, this is dumb, but it's cool. <laughs> Just like Crash. Yeah, after replaying the end of Crash 3 and just like talking about it more mm -hmm. and being able to being able to look at it. Um because when I, when we first played it, I was so new to it. So yeah. now being able to take a step back and look at it, I'm like, man, oh man, Crash was so oh, cool. Oh man. Oh my god. It's yeah. Star Platinum versus the world. Go Bowser. It's it's still going. It's so cool. If only they were just standing still, like just staring each other yeah. down super hard yeah. while they were punching. Just an ultimate stand battle. Like I said, any particular still frame should be like a hype moment. <laughs> Like, oh, you defeated your rival in midair with a stinger. Mm -hmm. While also giving us a panty shot. Which is only a panty shot on account of the, the you know, the, the skirt portion. Yeah. Otherwise, it'd just be a, a unitard. <laughs> a leotard. It's weird how a skirt just makes something that much more Not lascivious yet. when you get to see it. <laughs> yeah. 
Ready for what? I don't know. Uh-oh. Spaghettios. Are we gonna have to outrun something? Or dodge sick lightning? Yeah, it looks like you gotta dodge a lot of sick lightning. With no health. Awesome. Oh, and there's water involved, yeah. Cool. There's always water involved. Oh, nope, yep. Guys, that that probably gives us more. Well, I know this gives us more story if we actually read them. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at her actually caring. Yeah. Mummy, that was a sick fight. I saw that mid ass finger that you ended it with. <laughs> I was fucking off the chain, mummy. <laughs> Why ain't you dodge offset in your fucking combos? Yeah. That's something I'd like to try to get good at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I said, I, I really want to buy the Bayo 2, like, you know, and then the oh, comes yeah. of this game and just get good. <laughs> Don't want to get good at it. Pull down. Put down. Oh, put the... Oh, put down. Yeah. Stupid angels. No oh, gross. I'm about to die. Health. Yeah. Not great. Better than nothing. It's like Ooh. some more health. Skeleton hand coming out. Yeah, they're probably like, you need this, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, you did just get done fighting your rival. So, try to put... Drop it, fucker. <laughs> No, this is a tuba fucker. Oh, somehow... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, a trumpet fucker or a tuba fucker. Like, a tuba fucker is more impressive, I think. Trumpet fucker just has a good ring to it. Yeah, it does. That's remember, a trumpet fucker. You remember when, like, American Pie had started and then everyone was, like, making jokes yeah. about, like, the flute and band camp and stuff? Like, just, Yeah. And, I, and that... I'm trying to remember where it started, but, you, you know, the type of air quotes humor that people have where they just quote something apropos of nothing? Yeah. I'm trying to go back to the origin of that, and that's a pretty early example, but I, I can't think of an earlier one. Mm, it... I bet it's been around for a long time. That's probably when we really started to become cognizant of it, because that was our generation's thing. I think as teenagers, that's yeah. kind of what we started. That's what we started quoting. But I know when I was a kid, my parents were always quoting uh, the likes of uh, Blazing Saddles and whatnot. Huh. Yeah, my mom would quote Blazing Saddles, yeah. too. Granted, there are, there are better things to quote than others, but I think there have always just been those people who will quote anything no matter how bad it is. My mom quotes Ernest movies. She says, know what I mean, Vern? Huh. Which is an obscure, like, Ernest quote. Yeah. And, but, I mean, she uses it in the right context, uh -huh. at least. Like, well, she'll explain something to me and say, you know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> I'm like, Mom, stop quoting Ernest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know well, what at least to quote, do here. At least quote Ernest himself and not the two dudes, like... Yeah, I don't know what you're supposed to do either. Um, yeah. Are you supposed to walk up a wall? There we go. Yes, I am. I just, I forgot how to do that. I feel like that's one of the techniques in the game, or one of the, you know, things uh, that isn't isn't reinforced enough to remember it when you yeah, need it. Yeah, exactly. And I don't think they do that at all in Bayo 2. I think there are a couple of moments where you walk on walls, but it just does it automatically, or yeah. you jump through a portal to do it. <sighs> These things are in the air, so they are hard to hit. What would be cool is if there was a whole light, dark thing where if you were in moonlight, something visually, you know, in the UI uh -huh. was like, okay, you're in moonlight, so you get like a certain few different moves, right? And then in your uh -huh. sunlight, maybe you get a couple other moves. Yeah, if she had a light-dark thing going on to account for her heritage, I guess. Yeah. But I guess that might spoil things a bit. I don't it know. might It might make it a little too... Because in a character action game, you want to be able to do things all the time. 
yeah. you know, based on the situation, you might want to be able to do this or that. And so to limit the give the, give the player a hard limitation like that is kind of difficult. No idea when these things go to attack, and that's really annoying. Oh, ooh, that thing's oh, okay. oh, that's right. Oh no, I'm just picking her up. Never mind. I don't okay. want to pick her up. I wanted to do like a torture attack so I can get a, uh, a chainsaw. Yeah, the chainsaw is awesome. Pick her up. This little kiss thing. There we go. Any health? No health. I'm surprised they gave me as much health as they did. <laughs> Which is to say they gave me any health at all. Hooray! We, wow, we missed a whole I lot missed of something. five encounters? Wow. See, and I... <laughs> It's like, what, what were those? Like, what could they have been? And how come, if there were five, like, you missed half yeah. of everything in that in that whole chapter, mm -hmm. the whole stage or chapter or whatever, but it's like, I, I want to see. I want to see the content. Like, give it to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hide one of them. Yeah, they do hide kind of an obnoxious amount of them. And what's surprising is that they, wow, I have a shitload of bullets. When I get all those bullets, how many of them can I waste? Let's see. One wasted. <laughs> Emma. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why the little heads are only worth three. That's, I don't know. I mean, granted, the, the bigger takes... ones take two shots. Yeah, I was gonna say. They also only take a headshot. Mm -hmm. Although, yeah. Although the headshot is difficult to get. Yeah. Yeah, just exchange those, go buy some stuff, and I think that'll be it for now. Yeah. It's a good place to take off. That was a good, that was a good sesh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and good... we're getting close to the end, too. Ooh. I think? I think we get to write a missile soon. Who's, uh, maybe I just haven't picked up on it, but who's doing this? Who is, is that, like, whose hand is Oh, I think that's, stuff? uh, Cere Cereza, the little girl. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Which is... Baby Bayo in the future for some reason. <laughs> I forget that part. I don't know why she's in the future. Oh man, I just got like tired and hungry all at the same uh -huh. time. That's a okay. weird combo. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting a chainsaw on your arm. So what do you want? <laughs> I think that's a reference to one of the other games. Uh, well, if he made like a in. oh accessories, if he made like a, a boomstick joke, then then make it a little clearer mm. because that's the only thing I can think of is uh, Evil Dead. Oh yeah, Army of Darkness. it could be yeah. that they. I think Anarchy Reigns is their game where they do have a guy with a chainsaw on uh, his arm. So I don't know when that came out is the thing. So what's this? Oh, um, apparently this just automatically activates which time if you get hit Ooh. at the expense of magical power. How much magic? I don't know. It might be... It's probably a full gauge, I would imagine. But, you know, it's worth it to take one less hit. Yeah. Yeah, I'll save it for that. I don't know if he has any treasures yet. Uh... Nothing. Okay. I love chicks. <laughs> it's weird. Is that an apron? I don't know what that is. I think it's an apron. That looks like a workbench. Out of all the birds, why a penguin? I mean, I cute, but... <laughs> I don't think of baby penguins as chicks. Mm. I guess all baby birds are chicks, but... Yeah, but you don't think of penguins, you think yeah. of chickens. 